They were the children who took God at his word. And they took God at his word. And we're seeing all throughout this series how they're going and they are getting their blessings. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Bethlehem. That sounds good. Let's do that again. Bethlehem. Amen. That is our theme and that is our prayer. Amen. Pray that every member have identified that ten most woman and placed it in the box of love. And they're praying, fasting and praying that God will cause revival through our prayers. Amen. You know the reason why I am here today? Somebody prayed for me. All right. I, I, I told this testimony occasionally that my, my childhood preacher had encouraged uh, uh, the members to get prayer partners and they got my mother and Another lady by the name of Sister Thomas got together, and guess what? I was on that ten most wanted. Come on, come on. And uh, they tell me that that next Sunday I was up before the church. Amen. Uh, being a preacher and having the gift of gab, but couldn't say a word. Amen. But getting my life right with Christ. Somebody Amen. prayed for me. Amen. There's somebody in here today, and you're here because somebody yeah. prayed for Amen. you. Amen. I know some of you were on somebody else's ten most wanted list, and, right. and now you're here. Hello, yeah. somebody. Yeah. 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 somebody Somebody prayed for you. So we're going to, as they have a saying, to pay it forward, we're going to pray it forward. Amen. 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 I said we're going to pray it forward Amen. in Jesus' name. For it is our <coughs> job to save the world right here uh, in Paul Valley. Amen. 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 And how are we going to do it? Amen. 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 Remember, you gotta live it before anybody want to take it. Right. Take it. Hello, something. Amen. Amen. God said they could have. Amen. Amen. Uh, let me say that again. It's not a time to be passive. You've got to go get what God says that you can have. Amen. Hello, somebody. If you really believe that, you'll make some steps. If you can really believe that, you'll go and take something from. Hello, somebody. Come on. We're going to look at this morning, Joshua 19, verses 49 through 51, in a message entitled, Getting what you ask. Uh, Getting what you ask. Uh, let's stand in reverence to the word of God. Stand yes, symbolically saying that I will stand on the word of God. Uh, stand symbolically saying that I'm going to go get it. Hello somebody. Yes, sir. Hello somebody. Let's read this together on three. One, two, three. When they have finished the land, it's a lot of forces. He is the last king, Joshua, son of a man, and here at the sun of a man. As the Lord had commanded, they gave him the town he asked for. Timber, silver, in the real country of Ephraim. Then he gave them the land of the town, and settled there. Then he gave them the land of the town, and settled there. Then he gave them the land of the town, and settled there. These are the territories that he gave them to the priest, 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 and it is like a certified place of Israel, assigned by Lot at Shiloh, in the presence of the Lord, at the entrance to the city of Eden. And so they finished the body of the land. Amen. You may be seated in the household of the Lord. You may be seated in the household of the Lord. Today we're sharing a message entitled, Getting What You Ask. Getting What You Ask. We're going to look at on around three points as the Holy Spirit gives us utterance. 
we're going to talk about God's commanded. We're going to talk about God co-signed. We're going to talk about consigned it, and we're going to talk about God's constructed. We want Christians to know this morning that Christians should be obedient to God and be blessed in the end. Christians should be obedient to God and be blessed in the end. Get it what you ask. Get it what you ask. And before we get into this text, we're going to share a New Testament principle to which we've been sharing throughout this series because it was a time of blessing. And then we're going to get into this text. Jesus said to his disciples, text and we've been looking and we've been seeing and taking note mm -hmm. of what's going on in the text. Yes. As we take a note, uh, we really run into a scripture or scriptures that you can really get lost in and you've been hearing me say this last three weeks, you get lost in it because your name is not in the text. Mm -hmm. But if you were back then, you would have noticed, and you, if you were a part of the people's life back then, oh, you, this would have been an exciting time. Come on. Because this was the time that they were inheriting the land. This was a time of great victory. This was a time where, oh, they, they had uh, uh, received uh, everything that they wanted as they conquered the land. This was a great time of, uh, of, of wealth. Transfer. This was a, a time of great victory, and uh, everybody got uh, hello somebody something. Hello Man, somebody. Man. Hello somebody. Reminds me of, 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 of when a team won, wins the Super Bowl. Uh, when the team wins the Super Bowl, everybody gets Man. a Super Bowl ring. Uh, right. Oh, uh, the coaches get a ring, even though they wasn't on the field. Hello somebody. Even the scouts for the teams uh, get a ring right. because they're part. The team, hello, somebody. And in this text, everybody was getting something. This was a time of great blessing. This was a, a time of great oh wealth transfer. Everybody was winning the lotto in this text. Hello, somebody. And they weren't gambling. Oh, at the casino, they weren't gambling. Oh, and buying the lotto ticket. Oh, they gambled on God and God alone. And we've been learning in Sunday school about oh how if you're gonna gamble you need to gamble uh, oh with God uh, why don't you try God uh, with your tithes and your ten percent uh, why don't you take that kind of gamble because if you 
you handle that way, you'll have the victory. Yeah. And everybody in this text, oh, the windows of heaven was opening up and pouring out blessings that they didn't have room enough to receive. Oh, everybody had got a blessing, but who? Joshua. Joshua. Hello, somebody. All right. Up to this point, the man of God who led him, the man of God who started his path out, oh, in Egypt, the man of God who walked with Moses, the man of God who had to take Moses' place, and the man of God who had to take the children of God to a place where Moses couldn't even go himself, the man of God who thought 40 years, oh, well, it's about 40 years earlier who thought we could go in and take the land but some folk didn't believe and this same man of God who had to wander with everybody else who didn't believe that was stopping his blessing and he couldn't go get it he had to wander with everybody else but I believe that he wandered in faith I believe that every time he came around and he looked over he said yeah I still believe yeah. on year one, yeah, yeah. I still yeah. believe yeah. on year two, yeah, yeah. I still believe oh. on year 25, yeah. as they wondered, oh, on year 26, yeah. I still believe yeah. on 40, I still yeah. believe yeah. that God can do it. Yeah. And this yeah. very same man of God who still believe, who didn't get caught up, oh, with the people that didn't believe, that same man was able to go out and conquer the land yeah. and Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here, I don't care where you are, you may be wondering with some folk that ain't going nowhere. You better still believe in Jesus. Thank you, neighbor. Neighbor! Oh, neighbor! You better still believe in Jesus. He still believes. Oh, with everybody else, but one more person, oh, didn't believe. He still believes. And he believes. And he went out. And he put his faith where his mouth is. There's some folk who say they believe, but the circumstance will stop them. But Joshua believed. And he faced Jericho. And he wandered Jericho. Oh, seven days. Seven times on that last. And God said in the words of oh, Mary, Mary, that it's your time. Go get it. Praise him Amen. right now. Shout right now for it's your time. Amen. And he shouted and he went and he took it. And Jesus, Lord, Lord. take your neighbor. Neighbor, Lord. you better go and take it. Lord, Lord. And Jesus, Lord, Lord. ain't nobody giving you nothing. Lord. You better go and take it. Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord. But to make a long story short, this man of God put everybody else first. And guess what? Even though he believed almost 45 years early. Even though he was leading the people. Uh, oh, he put himself uh, last. Yeah, uh, right. Hello, yeah. somebody. Yeah. In that servant leadership. Uh, oh, I heard somebody say that we don't need uh, no celebrities. Uh, oh, when it comes to preachers, uh, we need servants. Right. Oh, and, and that's what Joshua was. Uh, he wasn't a celebrity. He was a servant. Uh, oh, and he put himself uh, last. Uh, oh, and I hear the Bible say, Oh, what first last? Tell me first. And the first last. He said, he shall himself in this for last. But don't make him say, last as something. Don't you wear this? Even a little place better. He might say, I'm a neighbor. Oh, no, neighbor. When I get up, I'm a neighbor. It's long, I don't manage. Oh, we know he blessed oh. because he got 
was the asphalt. And he kicked out the asphalt. What the uh, fuck? Oh, he bought it because of his The asphalt. The Lord had to get to him. He got it because of the Lord had commanded it. I hear somebody say, but God has for me. It's for me. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, what God has for me is for me. Not because of what I say, but because what? The Lord commanded it. And if the Lord commands something, guess what? It's going to be. If you don't believe me, come here. Creation. Creation, sit down here and testify. Oh, creation was sat down and say, oh, well, I didn't exist at all. There was nothing of me. Right. Uh -huh. There was nothing. Uh, there was nothing to me. But then God said, "Hello, somebody." God commanded it. God said, "Let there be." And guess what? There was. He commanded ex nihilo. He said, "Let there be," and there was. If God commanded it, it's going to be. And if you're here today, oh, you better believe by faith that God commanded something. And when you believe by faith that God commanded something, you don't have to oh worry about how it's going to happen because God commanded it. If God commanded that I get a job, I don't have to worry about how it's going to happen. All I got to do is do my due diligence and God's going to do it for me because God commanded it. Oh, I don't have to know people in high places. I don't have to have connections here on this earth because if God commanded it, guess what? It's going to be Say to your neighbor, neighbor! Oh, neighbor! If God commands it, it's going to be. And if God Command that building over there, guess what? It's gonna be. Regardless of whether you believe or not, regardless of whether you feel it or not, regardless of whether you give or not, if God commanded it, it's gonna be that Jesus name. Say to your neighbor, the name of all names. I hear I command it to me. 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 I think God. Command something. Command, command, command. I hear, I hear well. P A G. Command, I hear come. Joy. G. I am commanding hearts of him. This because I don't want to be a joy. Joy. I have your the right thing given today, and you want the world to take it away. Because that's what I'm commanding. Go ahead, God, another. Because this morning, I'm going to command something. 
things right. in your life. And right now, in Jesus' name, God is saying to the soul, Peace. All right. Peace. All right. Amen. Amen. Hello, Hello somebody. Somebody ought to get back. Praise the Lord. Peace. 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 Lord have mercy. Yeah. Lord have mercy. You have to ask the wind's permission. Oh, right. Lord. Right. Oh, Lord. Would you please stop? Hello, mm -hmm. sir. Lord have mercy. No, he, he didn't have to do that. Ooh. He commanded it. Oh, Lord. Yeah. He said, Peace. Peace. Hello, somebody. Yeah, go ahead and give God another hand. Give a praise. Up in your up here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. Somebody can't hear with their ears. Oh, they better hear with their eyes. Oh, no. Hello, somebody. Well, yeah. if somebody can't hear with their ears or oh, no. see with their eyes, they better do what we read about in our our our, our, our responsive reading. Yeah. What it says, it says they both taste oh, and right. see. Hello, somebody. That the Lord is yes. good. Yes. Hello, yes. somebody. Yes. somebody better. Yes, sir. I know yes. Some folks that don't know how to give good gifts. Oh, 
Because they'll really give you what they wanted. Oh, Lord. Hello, sir. My Lord. Hello, sir. Let me let me say that again. They'll give you yeah. what they wanted. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Right. Your kids will uh, give you a PlayStation. Hello, somebody. Oh, you know yeah, what you're gonna yeah. get? That? Yeah. Right. Hello, somebody. They give you what they want. Hello, somebody. But God in the text uh, yeah. said uh, that He gave them. Uh, what? Uh, they gave them what? Uh, yeah. What they asked for. Man. Hello, somebody. And if you want to know if something is from the Lord, uh, yeah. all you got to do uh, yeah. is know what you asked for. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. There's some single women up in here, yeah. and they're praying for a mate. Uh, and they're with uh, Oh, they don't know. Uh, they don't even go to church. Uh, oh, and you're wondering whether he's from God. Uh, no. And you pray uh, for a godly man, uh, and he don't even go to church. Well, then you don't have to ask the preacher or nobody else whether it was from God. No, it wasn't from God no. because it wasn't what you asked for. The devil's trying to trip you up. Oh, but the way you know whether something is from God is that it'll be a good thing. Hello, yeah. somebody. It'll be something good and it'll be in God's will and it was something good for Joshua and it was in God's will and guess what? They gave him what he asked for. Yeah. Hello, Amen. What if I told you today that God says, preacher man, that he's going to give you what you asked for. Oh, Lord. My Lord. Hello, somebody. I think I'm going to take that. What if God says he's going to give you what, 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 you, what you asked for. All right. Hello, somebody. Yeah, yeah. What if he said to these deacons, I'm going to... I'm going to give you what right. you asked for. Right. Yeah. I'm going to give you what you asked for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give you what you asked for. Yeah. I know that yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. what you asked for. Yeah. Oh, I hope yeah. all of us is asking for that building up there. Yeah. 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 Among yeah. other things. Hello, know. somebody. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. God says to somebody, I'm going to give you what you asked for. Yeah. 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 Do you believe it? Yeah. 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 Give God another hand. Yes, yes, sir. He's gonna give me what I asked for. What, what does Mark 10, 51, uh, uh, 52 says? Uh, what do you want me to do for you? He posed the question. Uh -huh. Jesus asked him, and, and, and I said this earlier. The blind man said what? Rabbi. Rabbi. What did he say? I, want I want to see. see. I want to see. Hello, somebody. And, and what did Jesus say? Go. 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 But has healed, has healed you. you. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. And then what? He immediately received his sight. And what did he do? All along the road. Jesus. Along the road. Oh, God is saying to somebody this morning, What do you want me to do? Man, well, well, well. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. You need to be practical in what you ask. Right, mm -hmm. he, he could have said, Jesus, I, I, want, I just want a good corner to beg at. My Lord. You got to know what to ask. You got to ask for what you need. Ask for what you want. Hello, somebody. Oh, he, he didn't ask for a Cadillac. He couldn't see. So he asked for what he couldn't see. Hello, somebody. Somebody better ask for what you can't see. Hello, somebody. I have another point in that. You need to get that. Yeah. yeah. He asked for what he couldn't see. And, and, and what was it that made him have the victory? His faith. His faith. Hello, somebody. Can anybody tell me what faith is? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. <laughs> Say that again. Faith is what? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Say it again. Faith is what? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Heaven is the things not seen. Not seen. So literally, faith is evidence. Yeah. yeah. Hello, son. Yeah. Hello, son. Yeah. Hello, son. Yeah. And God is the enough evidence for me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hello, yes. somebody. Oh, Lord. Hello, somebody. Yes. Thank you. Okay, he, he commanded it. Yeah. He commanded it. Mm -hmm. He had folk giving stuff away. Right. Mm -hmm. That Joshua wanted. Yeah. But, but not only that, but God, what did he do? This last part, he constructed it. What is it? Now, how did he construct it? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked. Because mm -hmm. I heard one of the preacher, uh, oh, I'm not a preacher, but Deacon say, <laughs> we are his only hands mm -hmm. and feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. You see, the only way that building is going to get built no luck. is we're going to have to be hands and feet. Yeah. 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 My Lord. He, he commanded it. Yeah. He confined it. Mm -hmm. And he constructed But the way he constructs it is. It's going to have to be through who? Us. Uh, through us. us. Yeah. Hello, somebody. This he one built. happened with, 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 with uh, Joshua. What did he do? And he what? Built up the town, town and, and settled, settled it. it. And settled it. Oh, Lord. Hello, Woo. somebody. He, God, it started in the heavens. Mm -hmm. he, he, he commanded it in the heavens. Mm -hmm. And on earth, uh, people began to give it. Uh -huh. But once Joshua gave it, guess what? God, guess what? His work. Begin. Right. Yeah. Hello, somebody. So, we think that because God give us something, we don't have to work for it. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. it don't work like that. It don't work like It takes some work. We, we, we're going to have to build it. Oh, if God wants us to uh, have it and He commanded it and consigned it, then we're going to have to build it. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. But guess what? We don't get the credit. He does. Yeah. Hello, somebody. It's time for us to be His hands and feet. Oh, for us as a church, He, he wants to build it through us. Yeah. For you as an individual, He wants to build it through you. Yeah. Hello, somebody. What is it that you're asking for? Somebody may be asking for a business. Mm. And guess what? He gets your business, but guess what? You still gonna have to work. You gotta yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. You're gonna, you're gonna have to hustle. Hello, somebody. Mm. Hustle hard. Hello, somebody. We know some folks that have their own business. And they do long care like uh, oh, some of our members do like Lori and, and Brother JR. They, they they, they get a yard, they can't say, well, God, thank you for the yard. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they got the credit. <laughs> if you want the money, that's what you're going to have to do. Yeah. You're going to have to go to work and go cut it. Hello, somebody. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, yeah. oh, neighbor, okay. go cut it. Okay. Go cut it. Okay. Go cut it. Okay. Mary Mary said, go get it. 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 It's your time, God, is saying to somebody up in here. And I hope he's saying it to me. If he ain't saying it to you, it's my time. It's my time to receive a blessing. It's my time to receive miracle from God. It's my time to be healed in my body. It's my time to be blessed in my bank account. It's my time to have my marriage. It's my time to see my children give their lives to Christ. It's my time to see revival in this place. In this place. It's my time. Now it's time for me to go get it. Go get it. Hello, go get somebody. It. Say to me, neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. You better go get it. Oh, neighbor. Go get it. Hello, somebody. You better go get it. We're going to read this text, and then we're going to go ahead and watch the sweet 16. He says, Jeremiah 29. Yes. God in 60 saying this is something. Build uh, what houses and settle down. Hello, somebody. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Hello, somebody. Marry and what? Have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters what? In marriage. So that they too may what? Have sons and daughters. And what? Increase in numbers there. And do not decrease. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes. That's what God is saying to us. Yes, sir. Hello, somebody. Don't oh, decrease. Yes. Yes. We have enough empty seats up in this place. It's time to increase. Hello, somebody. It's our time to make our impact upon this world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's our time to be the stewards of the souls that God wants to send this place. It's our time to settle down. It's our time to build up. It's our time oh, to be a blessing to our children's children's children to the third and fourth generation. It's our time. Neighbor, neighbor, oh, neighbor, it's our time. Oh, 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 it's our time. Oh,
Yeah. It's time for us to get to work because God commanded it. It's time for us to get to work because God consigned it. It's time for us to get to work because God constructed it. And it's time for us to get on his program. All right. Amen. Hello, somebody. And leave all our programs behind. Yes, sir. Right. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Go get it. Go get it. Man. Go get your blessing. All right. That's it. Hello, somebody. Say to your neighbor. 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 Oh, neighbor. Go get your blessing. Oh, good man. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go take it. It ain't going to be easy. All right. You may have to be like Joseph. They had to cut down the forest, the tribe of Joseph. Yes, and they had to come up against iron right. chariots and they had to face the giants yes, yeah. but guess what if it's your time yeah. you can take it yeah. and if you know the word yeah. in my devotions I, I read uh, yes, Ezekiel not Ezekiel but Exodus 34 yes, sir. and in there God told him that he was going to go before them and drive them out. Yeah. He talked about the Jebusites yeah. and the Hittites yeah. and all the Ites. Yeah. He told them beforehand yeah. that it was going to be that time and that he was going to yeah. drive them out. But they had to go! Yeah! Yes, sir. Yeah. They had to get on the front line. Yes, sir. They had to get on that front line. Yeah. Go get it. Say to neighbor! Yeah. Oh, neighbor! Hey. Go get it! Man. What you waiting on? God says you have the victory. Yeah, that's right. What you waiting on? Don't hesitate. Then I told us not to hesitate. Right. Well, Hello, somebody. But you, but you don't get it. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Our eyes closed, heads about deacon who you come.